Retro Strategy. All hats on. Welcome to the Architectural Spotlight by Coros Architecture. Today, episode 2, we are talking of cultural reappropriation, how to transform your brand image. But what is a brand image? What is culture? Are we talking of cultural heritage? Are we talking of enterprises? Are we talking of corporate culture? We are talking of all of that because architecture is the means to achieve a place where all of those assertions meet together. First of all, let's make some observation. You can't have a secure brand name when your building lacks authenticity. So authenticity is a key success factor. Many companies fall into the trap of superficial cultural appropriation. They, can, they may introduce traditional patterns without understanding their meaning or sense. They can stick to their logos or colors and just put them everywhere as if it was enough. But we are in a world who are seeking authenticity. More must be done. Obviously, you must have indicative signs, but you must do more. Then we can talk of growing demand for sustainability. I'm talking of genuine sustainability beyond greenwashing. Go beyond installing some fuel system or some branding with some vegetation here and there. Construct a whole package. Then we can also talk of connection with local cultures. We have spread the news of mundialization, but everybody is feeling the overdose. You can no more build just a logo or just a name. You must build in accordance where, with the place you are. You must create a deep connection. So that leads us to asking a, a question. How can a company ensure that its architectural projects strengthen its brand identity, meet sustainability requirements, and integrate harmoniously with the local cultural fabric? And we did that for... Fumban Art Room, a cultural agency. So some may say it's easier. No, whatever, whatever is the type of the corporate technology, uh, education. I say whatever. You must integrate culture as the essentially. First of all, you have the corporate culture. Uh, when building a matakam, we took an account that. They want to showcase, Fuman and want to showcase their ability to honor history while looking to the future. Yes, that's the corporate culture. How are you framing that? Honoring history is learning from the history as you see in the project. We went back in the roots of that location to inform our design process with the elements. Then there's the projected culture. What do I mean by projected culture? How, what do we want? people to perceive when they see my Takam 2.0 project. Cultural heritage guardians and sustainable architecture innovator so that the company is positioned as a respected and forward-thinking leader. Then there's the culture linked to the site. Obviously you see the shapes, you see the materiality, you see the fact that we add some colors and environment we create is the link to the site so that there's a appropriation of the place a sense of ownership with the people there so you must entrust an architecture an architect for the story of your project when they understand the importance of cultural appropriation well they understand that sustainability is more than green watching and it can help elevate your brand. Your brand. It's the new Wakanda. 
the real Wakanda we're trying to build as you can see on the images trust the process and like we always say believe and approve connect yourself follow us DM us write us click the notification bell and together let's go beyond the architectural ego or the brand ego and co-create together and build a sustainable future.